Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Redstone Studios. Whether you're looking to just record some tracks or push your creative boundaries, Redstone Studios has you covered. They're friendly, professional, and they produced my second album, Postcards from the Sun, from start to finish. Now, on with the show! Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is the second in a series answering the question of, now what? These videos are my attempt to guide new musicians through certain milestones in a beginning musician's career, such as starting a band and getting that first gig. Today's video, as you probably guessed from the title, is covering what to do once you've made a demo. Get ready to annoy your friends, family, and strangers. It's time to sell ourselves. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, you formed a band and started writing music. You somehow figured out the recording process enough to capture your sound so other people can hear it. What's your next move? Well, if you're like most of us, you'll immediately share it with anyone you know. The only problem is, can they actually get you a gig? It's great to get it in people's hands, but this isn't an album you're trying to sell. A demo is meant for promotional purposes, so your focus should be on getting it to venues and booking agents. When you're starting out, it's tempting to only shop your demo to the venues that you frequent. This is a mistake, though. There are usually a plethora of places offering live music, and your band should be able to adjust your sound to fit most of them. If not, it might be time for a rethink of your set list. You're starting out, so you have no idea what kind of crowd you'll draw or what reaction you'll get. Don't be afraid, but don't be delusional. Chances are you'll be playing to venue regulars and whoever you can browbeat into coming to see you. At this point, take whatever gig you can get until you know what your band is worth. You'll get there, but it takes time. If you can, have multiple ways to access your demo. Physical copies are not necessarily the norm now, so an online version would be a great idea. This is especially true for out-of-town shows, but you'll get to that eventually. Don't be disappointed if nothing comes from your demo. Oftentimes, especially in Vegas, a physical connection and conversation goes farther than another demo tossed on the pile they receive. Support the local scene and get to know the staff, and you keep practicing! Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and this was useful information. In our next Now What video, we'll be taking a look at what to do when you finally get that gig. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified when I post new videos. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click here. Please consider clicking a link down in the description to support my channel. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.